Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, it's inspired by dreams. Shop. We got everything hoodies, snapbacks, everything for you to get your drip on. Dress outside of the box. Okay, today's episode, we got a lot to talk about. We're going to take this one today to Philly. Mr. Disrespectful. Now, first of all, with a name like Mr. Disrespectful, that just lets me know that everything you're doing in your music, your direction, going forward is taking a path of destruction now before we get into this the reason why i chose to just highlight people on certain videos is because it's learning there's lessons in everything that we are doing in these times and for the youth out there that's following people with this music that is it's going at their ops and it's it's causing destruction i wanted to give an eye-opening video for you guys so you can understand that karma is real what you put out there is what you get back now in this situation there's a lot of things that i really want to highlight before we just jump into it and point fingers if you pay attention to it there was a point where he's explained that his younger brother was recently murdered now when you hear things like that you know that his mind is on an offset it's on offset mode meaning that his mind he's not thinking clear he's thinking in a revenge state which is very understandable when you lose someone close to you and you want to just feel some you have pain inside of you and you don't know how to get it out and you don't know how to let it out now the reason why i really want to highlight that part is what people don't understand when somebody loses a family member it's from that point on people have a crash out mentality and as much as we don't want to say it the hurt that builds up in a person can build up into breaking a person down or it can build up into a revengeful a revengeful spirit and in this case this is what happened what i see is in this whole situation that he took his revenge towards the music and he was just at a point where he was ready to crash out people don't realize what he was saying and doing and the things that he was pushing forward it was all probably because of the death of his younger brother that passed and he just felt like you know like i said man the youth in these times they don't have a long-term mindset of their life they have more of a short term because what they see in the short term is people dying on the day-to-day -day on social media and it gives you the just the thinking that you know what i might not be even live long enough to do what i gotta do or reach this height so let me do what i can do at this point just to get what i can so we're gonna jump into this um video right now and we just a lot of different things i wanted to highlight as far as him as well as people and, and the reactions to it so if you're new to this channel y'all know what to do to this channel subscribe right now we're going to keep highlighting different things and just giving different outlooks on these types of situations let's jump right into it and see what's going on love y'all peace Reports of a man has now passed away from a shooting. It happened here in the 35th district, just about 3.30. This is the 5500 block of North 6th Street. We can see investigators are on the scene, keeping an eye on a car here. We're told that a 25-year-old man was shot multiple times in the chest and in his hand, was taken to Albert Einstein Medical Center by a private vehicle, but was pronounced dead at the hospital. The scene now under investigation so far, no updates about anyone being uh, arrested or what led up to the shooting. We'll keep an eye on it and update you as we get more information. We see dude, AKA Mr. Disrespectful. I don't give a fuck who you is. And we gotta remember, for every action, there's a reaction. So I'm hearing that him just, you know, he was digging up someone's grave, an op's grave. I'm telling the youth, listen, doing things like that is gonna harbor revenge. That's where you find somebody that's gonna be looking through your window and ready to harm you because of the things you did. It's very hard for me not to understand why would somebody do that. When you hurt somebody so much and you get into this crash out mode, you don't really care what's gonna happen to you. You don't really care how extended somebody's life is, that your life is supposed to be because you 
took somebody that they deeply love. So look at this. This is disrespectful. It's more than disrespectful. Bro. Did I just read YBC Duel just got shot in? Oh my it's God, bro. It's the reality. It's the reality. Oh my God, bro. It's real. it's real. I'm getting chills, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I'm getting real chills. What is going on, bro? Like, bro. And I'm not even going to lie. Like, in a way, this kind of like Fulio gang. Like, this is kind of like Fulio in a way where, like, we shouldn't even be shocked. Because of how much dissing he was doing, but gang, wow, bro. Wow, they said he got hit in the chest in his hand, gang. That is crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. I had to, I had to say something, bro. Y'all know I be posting a lot of YBC dual clips and reacts, bro. That is crazy. That is crazy, gang. That is. Cra I was literally just because I got some clips I have not posted on this on, on TikTok yet. Which y'all probably gonna figure out why later on in probably the next couple of weeks or something. But bro, I was just looking at the file on my computer and I'm like, nah, I ain't finna post it yet. Let me let me get through some of this other stuff first. But now to come up and see this man just passed away game. Like that is crazy, gang. Like I'm in real shock, bro. Like I'm, like I'm real life getting the chills right now, gang. Never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city yet. Does there's a certain artist? I never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city yet. Does there's a certain artist? I never got robbed. I never got touched, shot at in the city yet. Number one, once you take somebody's life, your soul, your life, is all up for grabs. All I'm saying. This, there's a certain shooting in North Philadelphia left a nine-year-old boy injured and a man dead, while a separate shooting left a local rapper dead. I want y'all guys to pay attention to the situation because it's looking like the two shootings, they might have some kind of connection. Somebody was trying to get away from some type of scene and they ran into the car and this is what happened. Let's take a look. Listen to what she's saying. Police say is affiliated with a known street group. Action News reported Lee Pender following all of it for us tonight. He's live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the details. Leland. Yes, yeah, Shori, as you said, two men are dead tonight. These shootings happening just a few hours apart, but police say right now it's too early to know if they may be connected, and right now no arrests have been made. Chopper video shows that first scene around 3.30 on North 6th Street in Olney, a white Hyundai SUV held there as part of the investigation. Police say a 25-year-old man was killed after being shot in the chest and hand, but they are still working to find where the shooting happened. Sources ID him as Abdul Vix. Disrespecting people, folks out here will get you hurt bad, no matter who you are. Trust on that. A rapper known as YBC Duel, affiliated with the West Philadelphia Young Bag Chasers or YBC Gang. A short time later, just after six, police say at least two shooters opened fire on a man walking on 12th near Fairmount in North Philadelphia. Chopper video shows police focusing on this gray Hyundai that was riddled with bullets. Police say the man ran into this vehicle seeking cover. Inside was a nine-year-old who was shot in the leg and another man who was uninjured. Both shooting victims and ran into a nearby home and were taken to the hospital from there. It's unclear whether he knew the people in that vehicle or not. He ended up attracting gunfire to a vehicle that was sitting there with a, an adult male and a nine-year-old child. The nine-year-old child was then an unintended target of the shooting. That car took quite a, quite a bit of gunfire. And thankfully, we are told that nine-year-old child is in stable condition, but we did learn just a short time ago, the man that ran into that car seeking cover, a 33-year-old, is dead. Now, police are saying that the suspects in this case are reported to be in a black Jeep SUV with... Fuck the hood up. It ain't no more dice games. No, it ain't no block you could go on down here and people outside. Put the blocks up. You ever think maybe when you get older, you're going to turn a new leaf and you're going to want to make like the block better and make the hoods better? I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I'm going to try my hardest. Like shit like this, lots of shit. I'm going to try to build shelters. Like I'm going to try to feed. I'm going to get back. And I want you guys to understand the, the white guy that's um interviewing him. He's in a 
dangerous position as well. So it's not like he's not, you know, he's just exploiting the guy because he's putting himself in harm's way as well. Somebody can drive down these blocks and start shooting at this guy because of things he said and the things he's done. So you got to be very careful as another thing too when you're going in these areas and you're just trying to do this for content and just trying to get a better understanding. Sometimes it's better just to do it over online instead of going to these people's communities because you can find yourself in a place where they are finding themselves in a place in the grave. I'm gonna get back to the hood, bro. What's the game plan? You gonna drop first and then make it better? I mean, bro, that wasn't the game plan that fucked it up already. Like, feel me? I like, had the goal to get rich, feel me? But some shame in the midst of getting rich. Do, about the Do it look like I respect the cops? Mr. Disrespectful. We was all blicking that shit out here. Everybody was blicking out here. I don't even dance, though. Yeah, you, know, you don't know what blicking is? Uh, nah. You never heard of the shake your hip shit, the TikTok <laughs> tour shit? Look, this was. And it's very hard to know who starts these situations, like where it all stem from. So that's the part where you let the youth explain, you know, who did what to who. And you try to find a way where did this thing start and try to cut it off where it can end. Because if you don't do that, it's going to be an ongoing um, war. I did. Boom. Boom. Hey, y'all, what's up? This is the... Right now, what we are looking at is, shouts out to this um, TikToker. She does Philly News, and um, she's just trying to cover the news, but it's sad out there. And people, you know, covering this type of content, sometimes certain people can't do it, and s certain others who are from the community and people who can just digest this type of content can, because it's still bringing awareness. So sometimes you just got to tell it from your heart and people will more understand where you're coming from so it's always good to find and hear somebody from the actual areas that is really shedding light on it so that's the reason why i highlighted her let's get into it really business video but with the mood i'm in out of towners i don't give a if y'all come or go now this video is extremely hard for me to make because it hit home but i made a vow to bring y'all all of philadelphia news and entertainment no matter how hard it is. So bear with me while I bring y'all the news. At 3.34 p.m. today on the 5500 block of North 6th Street in the Alany section of the city, popular Philly rapper YBC Boo was gunned down and unalived. He was shot three times in the chest and one time in the hand while sitting in a vehicle. He was then driven to Einstein Hospital by a private vehicle where he was pronounced. Now, if you are familiar with the Philadelphia drill scene or know anything about the Philadelphia drill scene, then you know since the murder happened at 3.34 p.m. and it is now 10.56 p.m., normally way more details about the situation would come out and honestly the video would have been posted by now. But as far as the Philadelphia drill scene goes, Bobby C. Dool's death is what we may consider a high profile case. Meaning people are going to be very cautious when they are talking about the topic. People are going to be cautious with how they move now that this has happened. So details are slowly coming out, but this is kind of getting kept under the wraps a little bit. One thing I will say is if you are into the streets, if you are into the drill scene, West Philly is not the place for you to be tonight because the police have the gang unit loaded in West Philly. The gang unit is loaded in West Philly because they are automatically expecting retaliation because such a high ranked person got unlived. Now, y'all know I am Mouth Almighty. I normally would never make a video this short, but I'm actually going to end the video here mainly because I actually did know Duel personally. Like, me and him was actually very close. So, I am taking his death kind of hard, but I did owe it to y'all to bring y'all the story because that's what this platform is all about. As more details come out, I will probably do an updated video sometime later on in the week, over the weekend or something. But please mention his name in your duas and your prayers. His name is Abdu Vix. Thank you. You know what, my dreamers and dreamettes, this whole um, take a life, lose a life type of energy going around has to stop. And 
I see a lot of people, um, you know, not having like an understanding, you know, it's, it's, they're, they're just a the youth and they're just doing the music. No, they're doing music and that hurt that they're releasing is, it's the gasoline and the fuel to people that's going through these similar situations for them to get up and hurt somebody that they feel like hurt them. And when you look at this whole thing, it's sad, but as the youth out there, they got to do better. Just knowing that digging up somebody's grave and putting these types of words on these videos that last forever on these platforms, people go back to it, look at it, and it fuels them to crash out. A lot of people think, you know, especially us men feel like, you know, we got this, we got this. I could say anything about anybody and get away with it. But when somebody is actually hunting you and, and really putting in their homework and getting to you, because of something you said or something you might have did to their family there's no coming back from that and there's no way that you're gonna win in those types of situations when somebody knows more about you than you know about them you guys can shed some light in the comment and um in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as possible i answer back all the comments love you guys and um stay safe out there man and don't go out there disrespecting other people's families because you never know who you're disrespecting somebody hunt you down and crash out just because of something you did to them so until next time it's your boy mickey fenty aka mickey made it if you're new to this channel you know what to do to this channel subscribe